Hey, uh, what's up everybody? My name is D and uh, welcome to my YouTube channels. So in the last couple of videos, I show you guys how to install this uh, website for your uh, salon and spa. And then uh, I show you guys how to design the front end of this uh, website using uh, Elementors. But in this video, I will show you guys uh, an in-depth tutorial of how to set up the uh, salon booking system. Okay, let's get started. So basically, this is the uh, dashboard, the back end of your website. Uh, to view the uh, front end, all you have to do is just hover over here and click on visit site. But uh, we are going to uh, go to the uh, salon uh, tab right here. Okay. So once you click on this uh, tab right here, it will show you the uh, calendar of uh, your uh, schedule. So as you can, can see, these are the two um, appointments that we uh, are currently have. Right here, we can see the uh, customer name and then the, the time they book and then uh, the services uh, they book. Uh, we can uh, click on this one right here to uh, edit this uh, reservation. Okay, we can add or remove uh, services and then uh, we can uh, even change the uh, amount. Okay, uh, when we're done, we can uh, click uh, save or close if we didn't make any uh, changes. Okay, so uh, over here we have the uh, discount tab. Uh, we can uh, add a discount. Uh, we can enter uh, a uh, discount name, for example, VIP, and then uh, the amount would be uh, 20. Uh, we can use uh, twenty dollars, a fixed uh, dollar amount, or we can use the uh, percentage, and then uh, we can uh, maximum the uses of a limit for this uh, code right here. Let's say uh, we want to use uh, twenty time for this code, so uh, uh, this code will be available for twenty time of use, and uh, then right here, uh, single users uh, limit. So for per user, they can only use one. Okay, and we can uh, choose the uh, time of your promotions. Uh, we can pick uh, the date, the 17, and then to the 24. So for seven days, this code will be available. And uh, when we're done, we can click on uh, publish. Okay, so uh, this uh, next tab would be uh, bookings. These are all of your uh, bookings. And then uh, we can click over here. This is the uh, services that we have available on the uh, front end. Uh, if we want to add a new service, all we have to do is just uh, click on that button right here. We can enter the name. Let's say uh, haircut. And then uh, the price would be uh, 25, 20. Okay, unit per price, per session. And then uh, we can even enter the uh, duration. Let's say it's uh, 45 minutes. And then uh, we can even add into a uh, secondary uh, category, meaning uh, this would be a add-on. And then we can even choose the uh, category over here. Let's say if well, we don't have the uh, category uh, we want, we can uh, click right here to uh, add the car category we want. And then uh, we can enter, like, let's say, uh, hair salon. Okay. And we can add this uh, category right there. Then uh, we would uh, go back into the uh, services. Then uh, we would add the uh, hair salon category. We can even add an image. And uh, we can even uh, add a description for our uh, service. Just like that. We can hit uh, publish. Okay, so uh, over here is the uh, assistance. We can add as many assistants as we want. Let's just click on this button right there. Uh, we can uh, enter the name of the assistance. Okay, we can enter the email. So once we enter the email on uh, the front end of the website, if somebody uh, book an appointment uh, with this assistant right here, they will get uh, notified. Uh, phone numbers, uh, limit per reservation, we uh, can uh, limit the services. 
let's say uh, they don't do nails, but they do a uh, haircut, we can choose uh, the the um, uh, the service that fit this uh, assistant right here. Let's say this uh, assistant uh, only work a few days a week, and then uh, we would uh, pick uh, the time. Okay, let's say uh, they uh, they work from uh, nine to five. Yeah, uh, or whatever, and then uh, they only work on a certain day of the week. Uh, we can uh, pick and choose just like that. Let's say if we want to add uh, a new booking rule, uh, they work on uh, this uh, Thursday. Uh, but they only work from eight to uh, one, for example. Then uh, we would do so just like this. And eight to one, just like that. Then so when we're done. We will hit uh, publish right here. If we have the um, assistance uh, pictures, we can uh, add it right here. And then uh, we would uh, upload. Then uh, this right here is just uh, our customers. And then uh, right here is the uh, reports. Okay, your earning and your booking. And uh, right here is the uh, setting for the whole system. Uh, right here, we can enter the uh, uh, salon's uh, name, and then uh, the address, and then the owner's email address, uh, telephone numbers. And if you have a logo, you can uh, click right here to upload. Okay. And then uh, this is uh, the day and time format. Down here is uh, assistant selections. If we don't want customers to book a certain uh, assistance or we want to uh, turn it off, all we have to do is just uh, click right here. And down here is the SMS service. Uh, we can uh, use the uh, text or we can use uh, Twilio's or Plevio. Okay. And uh, country code. Uh, I'm not going to uh, go in too deep into this, but it's uh, very uh, simple. I have been uh, set up this for a uh, uh, client of mine, and uh, it's been uh, working perfectly fine. Uh, SMS uh, notification uh, service. Uh, once we uh, set up those uh, uh, SMS uh, service provider, we can uh, set up these also. Uh, these are just uh, custom uh, SMS messages. But we are going to uh, uh, custom the email notifications. Uh, this uh, should be a very simple. All we have to do is just uh, click on uh, this right here, remind the appointment to the uh, clients with an email. So let's say we want to remind the customers within uh, one hour, and uh, we are going to remind them with this uh, subjects, custom message right here, remind on this date, at this time, at this uh, nail salon, and uh, this is the uh, message that we have. Uh, hello, hi, uh, Mr. Customers. Uh, at this uh, time, we have an appointment with this uh, nail salon right here. And then uh, we can choose uh, follow up uh, email by email or by uh, uh, SMS messages. And uh, if we scroll up, uh, we have the uh, booking rules right here. If we, uh, we want to turn off online booking, then all we have to do is just click right here. We can uh, turn it back on, scroll down here, the uh, availability mode. We can choose the uh, basic one, uh, advanced or high end. So these are the algorithm uh, for your systems. But I, I find that uh, basic uh, work just fine. But uh, once you uh, use the systems and uh, basic doesn't uh, fit your need, you can uh, choose these custom uh, availability mode. Uh, okay, so this one right here, evaluate also by booking durations. If you have durations and you want to uh, customize uh, your uh, booking availability, uh, you can choose these. But I find basic work just fine. So uh, right here, customer per uh, session, uh, we can choose uh, two customer per sessions. And uh, this is the uh, session's uh, average duration. Okay, so booking a step order. For example, uh, right here, we will see the date and time first. But if we uh, click on uh, this right here, it will change to be the services first, and then the assistant, and then uh, the day and time. But right now, we have day and time first. 
Okay, the offset, we can choose any uh, duration if we want. I just uh, leave it as uh, 5 minutes. Uh, book in uh, time range, uh, we can choose uh, 1 hour. And that uh, the uh, customer can book uh, the uh, appointment 1 hour in advance uh, with the range of uh, 1 month. Okay, right here is the uh, time rule, the uh, schedule uh, for your uh, salon. Let's say you your business open uh, 7 days a week, but uh, 6 days they already open at 9 to uh, 7. But on Sunday you want to uh, close early, you can have uh, this uh, rule number 2. Or you can add as many rules as you want. Uh, we can click right here if you want to manually confirm each online booking appointment. Booking cancellation. If you want to have this option, you can click right here and the time in advance that the customer can cancel the uh, appointment. Booking reschedule. If you want to have that option also. When you click on these options and uh, the customer book uh, the appointment, uh, they will have these options in their email. Okay. Check out right here. If you want uh, your users to uh, check out as guests, uh, you can uh, click right here. They have an option to uh, check out as guests, or you can force them to check out as guests. Okay, and uh, this you can set up with your Facebook login. These are the forms. Uh, this one is a re require. For example, the first name is uh, required last name is not required email is uh, required then uh, mobile phone and address uh, those are not uh, required if you want to uh, change the text of the uh, first name you can change just like that okay and then uh, book and notes uh, any uh, message you want to uh, send to your customer after they uh, book the appointment okay then uh, over here we have the uh, payment uh, you can have the, the payment online turn on or turn off and uh, the currency and then uh, you can use Stripe or PayPal right here I use the uh, uh, Stripe test uh, key and then uh, we can turn on the tips requests and then uh, we can have a, a transactions fee let's say uh, you want to charge a uh, 5% or a $1 transactions fee you can do so uh, pending uh, payment email okay we can turn on or turn off uh, minimum uh, order amount okay unpaid reservations um, okay style this is the uh, front end uh, I choose uh, this uh, large layout but uh, you can choose as uh, any uh, uh, one of these you want you can change uh, the colors uh, the background colors and stuff like that okay and then uh, we have the uh, Google Calendar right here let's say you already are uh, using uh, Google calendars and you already have uh, like a uh, uh, different uh, system and you you want to connect with your Google calendars you can do so okay when you're done just hit uh, update this setting and uh, just like that uh, you will uh, set up uh, your booking appointment systems using a uh, website template on uh, smartandgood.com and uh, just like that you already set up your online booking appointments okay i want to uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video i would be uh, truly appreciated if you haven't seen the last uh, couple of two videos uh, please uh, check out those videos also I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.